Hi, this is my slightly belated September book haul. So a week ago I only had four books to show in my haul so I thought I'll go to Foils, pick up one or two books, and then I got another couple books in for review. So I guess I didn't have to worry about it at all. The first two books kind of have a story behind it. First of all they come in this awesome bag which says The Bloxham Hotel. I went to the launch party for this book and we had to come dressed up in 1920s style and we went to the Ritz which I never thought I would ever set foot in. I got to the door and it was opened up for me and then we were led to these beautiful rooms and there were actors in 1920s dress walking through the crowd and there were all these crazy characters and maids. So that evening the Ritz was the Bloxham Hotel and when the manager of the hotel did a little speech talking about how exciting it was to have us there, someone ran in and told him that there had been a murder. So throughout the night all these things were happening and we got to see the murder victim in the room and try and figure out what had happened. And this was the launch party for The Monogram Murders, which is the new Agatha Christie book. And it was written by Sophie Hanna. First of all, let's check out this amazing cover and then what's on the inside of it. Look at that. Oh, I have never read any Agatha Christie before, so this was all totally new to me, and I'm really looking forward to diving into the story, especially because I was there for the setup of the murder that happens in this book. They also filmed a bunch of the things that happened, and I'll put links to some of those videos in the description. It also had murder on the Orient Express, so I can dive into Agatha Christie a little bit more. And by the way, in the comments, if you like Agatha Christie, um, please let me know what your favorite one is, because I know there is so much to read. Next there is a book I bought which is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I heard someone talk about this on Twitter and on Goodreads, I can't remember who it was, but uh, they were raving about this book and then I read the summary and thought, yeah, that is for me. It is about a Hollywood star and a nomadic group of actors roaming the scattered outposts of the Great Lakes region, risking everything for art and humanity. And so this is kind of an apocalyptic novel with a weird twist to it. Then I have I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith, which I don't want to say too much about because there's another video going up where I talk about this book, but they'll probably go up after this one. You will see. Then we have the So Amazing Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. I bought this at Foils. I've had a print of this cover up on my wall because I got it at like a graphic novel cartoon fair. Never thought about actually looking at the book and buying it, and then I saw it in Foils. It is so good. I've already read it, but reviews will follow closer to Halloween because it is quite scary. Then I requested a book for review from Penguin and it is Ali Smith's How to Be Both. I have had several friends rave about Ali Smith who I do not know too much about. One thing to point out cover wise is this amazing painting on the back but the summary of the book says that there is a renaissance artist from the 1460s and the child of a child of the 1960s and their lives are somehow intertwined. So it's still a bit of a mystery to me but look forward to diving into that. Then I bought Bell Czar by Meg Wallitzer. People have been talking about it recently, it only just came out, and it's about a boarding school where the kids are studying The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, and like I am doing at the moment with The Mad Men's Daughter and H.G. Wells' The Island of Dr. Moreau, I kind of want to read the classic The Bell Jar, and then read the YA sort of spin-off that deals with the book, and then do a double review for them, so that's why I got this one. And finally, to get into the spooky mood, I have Horror Store, a novel by Grady Hendrix, which is by Quirk and I requested this for review. So it's sort of based off Ikea, but actually it is a horror story as you can see from the back. We never stop, we never sleep, and now we're in your home. This is going to be another one of my Halloween reviews for which I will be using hashtag spook reviews. So if you have any suggestions for awesome Halloween themed scary books that I could review in the week before Halloween, at reply me on Twitter and use hashtag spook reviews. So those are all the books I got in September. If you've read any of them, let me know in the comments what you thought and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!